How's it going guys? Sonny from Canadian Rider here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to properly wash your car. I've been detailing cars professionally for the last five years and the biggest question that I always get is how do I wash my car properly so I'm not inflicting those swirls and scratches that I'm seeing now in my paint. So I'm going to walk you guys through step by step the exact process on how you properly take care and wash your car every time you go ahead and touch it so that way you're not left with a bunch of scratches and swirls and a dull looking paint finish. So what I'm actually going to be showing you guys this on is my new Honda S2000. This is a 2002 AP1 Honda S2000. I made some previous videos about the car and how I picked it up and just a walk around video if you're interested in that I'll put up a card above. And then after this video, if you want to know how to actually compound and polish your car and wax it properly, I do have another video about that and I'll link it at the card at the end of the video so you guys can see that as well. And that would be the next step after this. But it's super important, the basics of how to properly wash your car. So the first thing you're going to actually want to do is park in a garage or in some kind of shade. This is going to help eliminate or reduce the amount of water spotting you get in your car. So I'm going to put my car in my garage. And just a heads up, I have links below to all the products that I'm using in this video. So the first thing we wanna do is address the rims and tires. These are usually the dirtiest parts of the car and we wanna address these first before we touch any paint. One mistake I see is people rinsing their rims and tires before they even apply any wheel cleaner on it. You do not wanna do that. That's only going to dilute the chemicals that you're using to attack the brake dust and grime and it's gonna be less effective. So what I'm doing here, the rim is nice and cool, it's not hot and now I'm applying the wheel cleaner um, that I have. This is the contrast wheel cleaner. I also use uh, Mother's wheel cleaner. That, that's really good. Or Meguiar's. There's lots of different ones. Sonax. I'll link some of those down below. And you're going to let it dwell for one to two minutes. Let it really eat that brake dust and grime. Let the chemicals do the work for you. First thing you're going to attack is the tires. I have a specific tire brush that's a really hard bristle brush. This is going to scrub off all the grime and dirt that are on your tires so that when you do apply tire dressing, it's going to be on a clean, nice surface. So immediately after that, we're going to want to focus on the wheel face. I do have a soft bristle brush that's meant for the wheel face here, um, and this is going to remove a lot of the dirt and grime on the wheel. Also, I have some other brushes, such as a paintbrush that I use for the lug nut carriers, and I do have another soft bristle brush that goes inside of the wheel barrels and cleans the inside of the wheel barrels. This is going to ensure that we have the right tools to make sure that you're attacking the rim and cleaning it out properly and not wasting your time or being frustrated with the lack of proper tools. Now we want to rinse the rims and tires to get all that gunk off and we're going to be focusing on the wheel wells. What I do is I still use the same wheel and tire cleaner that I've been using and I go ahead and spray the wheel wells. Let it dwell for about a minute and I have a long handle soft bristle brush that I use to get in there into the wheel wells and clean it all up nicely. Once that's been done and scrubbed, go ahead and rinse everything and you're simply going to repeat the procedure for the rest of your rims and tires and for the wheel wells and you'll be good to go and we can start focusing on the main part of the car. So this step is arguably the most important part when washing your car properly to not inflict swirls and scratches in the paint is we want to remove as much gunk and grime off the paint of the car before we even touch it with any mitt or washing medium. So what I'm going to show you here is actually an additional step. I go ahead and foam the car. So included with this pressure washer, and they have different foam lances for this, you can go ahead and foam your car with a car soap. And this is going to help break down that dirt easier for you. So when it's breaking down the dirt and you do pressure wash it after, it's going to be easier. It's going to have a better time taking off that dirt and grime off of the car. This way we're getting all that dirt and grime off the car as much as possible before we take any mitt to it and possibly inflict damage into the paint rubbing in dirt into the clear coat. Now honestly, in my five years of professional experience doing this, is it necessary this foaming step? No, I think this is more of a nice to have thing, a cherry on the top on your Sunday kind of a thing. It's not necessarily the key go-to. Honestly, as long as you pressure washer your car and really get that good clean before you even touch it, you'll be fine. You're going to let the foam dwell for one to two minutes. Then you're gonna take your pressure washer, rinse everything top to bottom, clean it up. Then we're going to actually take a mitt to wash the car. So this is a grit guard. This is gonna be your new best friend. You're gonna get two of them, one for your wash bucket and one for your rinse bucket. We're gonna have two buckets when we wash a car and this is oftentimes referred to as the two bucket method. This grit guard is gonna fit in the bottom of your buckets. What it's going to do is make sure that there's this barrier between your mitt and the bottom of the bucket where all the dirt's landing. So what I usually do is put these in both your buckets, your wash bucket with your soap and your water bucket. And when you go down and you're picking up the soap solution or you're rinsing the mitt and you're rubbing your mitt against this grit guard at the bottom, it's going to take off all that dirt and all the grime and everything else that's bad that could harm and damage and scratch your paint. It's going to drop to the bottom of the bucket. It's going to keep the water from swirling up back into the mitt. And it's going to make sure your surface medium, your mitt is clean when it's contacting your paint. Now the mitt's super important as well. I use always a microfiber Chanel mitt. 
these things have the little worms that are microfiber that will like take the dirt and release the dirt so it's not caught up in anything or it's not caught in the mint and rubbing back into the paint um, i've always had the best experience with these type of wash mitts and i highly recommend them this one here i'll link down in the description box below as well and then finally the i think the best over-the-counter car wash shampoo there's so many different car washes and shampoos out there and feel free to buy whatever you'd like but the best over-the-counter one that anyone can go and buy is probably the Meguiar's gold class this car wash is very good I honestly compare it to a lot of the different products like Zeno chemical guys and all those other big brands this is probably the best one that you can get for the dollar it has great cleaning ability you get a lot for the money it's not going to strip your wax or sealant all right, so we have our two buckets. One is full of soap and water solution. The other one is just water. Both have your grit guards underneath. You're going to take your mitt, you're gonna dump it in the soap and water solution, and you're gonna start from the top of the car. So here you're gonna see I'm starting at the top of the car. I'm going ahead, I'm using one side of the mitt, and then you'll notice I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip the mitt as well. And I'm gonna do about two panels here because this mitt's kind of big. If you have a smaller mitt, maybe do one every panel, but I'm going to do two panels here and I'm gonna flip the mitt every once in a while. And after I do the two panels, I'm gonna go ahead and dunk that mitt into the water solution bucket. And I'm going to scrub that mitt into the grit guard at the bottom of that bucket. This is going to release all that dirt that's caught up in the mitt. Then after I'm done that, I'm gonna place the mitt back into the water and soap solution, pick up all that new water and soap, and I'm gonna start on the next panel. You're going to have to use some judgment on how often you rinse the panels after you're done washing them. In this case, I'm inside my garage. It's not super sunny outside and it's not super hot. So in this case, I'm going ahead and after four panels, I'm rinsing those panels with water to make sure I'm not getting hard water spots from the soap that dries on. At this point, you're going to repeat the process until the entire car is washed and has been rinsed. All the while you're doing this, you're remembering not to put too much pressure on the mitt. You just want to hold it firmly. You want to glide it over the paint. You're not scrubbing. You're flipping over the mitt occasionally, and you're making sure to be using your rinse bucket and your soap bucket. The car is now washed. You've rinsed it, and now it's ready to be dried. My personal favorite thing to do drying a car is using a microfiber waffle weave towel. These are super absorbent. They're not going to damage your paint, and they're very easy to wash and maintain. All you're going to do is go lightly over the car with this microfiber towel. You're going to dry the car. You're going to have to wring out the microfiber waffle weave every once in a while because it collects a lot of water, and then your car will be dry. Just always be cautious, making sure the towel isn't dragging on the ground. It's not catching up on any dirty parts anywhere else. Because again, you are rubbing onto the paint at this point and you wanna make sure that the towel is clean. You wanna make sure that everything on the car is obviously squeaky clean. You just washed it and nothing gets in between the towel and the clear coat. Now take some time to dry your rims and tires, open up your doors, dry the door jams. And then once your tires are nice and dry, go ahead and apply tire dressing. I usually like the matte look of my tires, a matte black. So I go ahead and apply it on my microfiber towel and I go ahead and apply it on all my tires there. Once that's done, your car is dry and we're good to take it out and do a final inspection. If you guys see anything during the inspection, use a quick detailer or a quick wax like McGuire's Ultimate Wax and a microfiber towel and give it a buff. But that is how you properly wash your car. Once again, guys, I've listed everything that I've used or the equivalent in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Again, I'm a professional detailer. I love talking about this stuff. And be sure, if you're looking to polish or compound your car and wax your car, you want to know how and what tools you have, I did a similar video where I show you how to do those steps on how to remove all those swirls and scratches from your car's paint in this video at the end screen below. Hope you guys choose to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.